This video is a coin tutorial for beginners. So we'll learn how to make deposits and withdrawal on CoinEx, how to trade the futures and the spot markets, how to earn passive income in the financial section, and how to earn from trading fees by providing liquidity in the AMM. And I'll add a bonus, which is on how to earn why you learn on CoinEx. So the first thing you do is go to the description, use the link to create a CoinEx account. When you do so with that link, you get some bonuses. So if you create an account and make sure you verify your account, if you go there, you can see Fiat, the market section, the exchange in this top menu, you see the future section, the finance section, promotions, more. Here you can see your assets, your order. And if you go here, you can adjust your personal preferences and secure your accounts more. Now, I know that many of you like to use the app, so do I. So I'm gonna continue this using the app. So when you download the app, look at the bottom menu. You have home, financial, exchange, futures, and assets. Let's go back to home. If you look at the top menus, you have CoinX at the right and the head and shoulder icon at the left. If I click on it, it brings me my personal preferences again. Now, we'll get back to the bottom menu again, but know that we are in the home. And if you look at this section, we will have deposit, swap, fiat, and more. Let me click on more. When you do that, you see everything that CoinX has to offer. You see the trade section, fiat, swap, sports, futures, calculator, finance, AMM, financial, strategic trading, promotions, exclusive, and orders. Now, this customized section here, what you interact with more, you can actually add it to this section. Let's say I interact with the airdrop a lot. I can click on the edit in, in the customized section and tap on airdrop to add that. If I click on OK, and go back to the home, you can see that airdrop is now added to that particular section. And I can swipe to actually see them more again. Other things you see here is what is hot, the news section, the trending coins, where do we have the top gainers and the top losers, and what is hot. So this is the home section. Now let's go to the assets at the bottom right of the menu before we come to the financial exchange and futures. If you click on assets, you see the overview first, then you can see sports, futures, financial, AMM. Now, the money you want to trade sports with is what you have in the sports section. That of futures in the futures, financials, AMM. I hope you get what I mean. But how do you make deposits first? So you can deposit fiat first, or you can deposit crypto. To deposit fiat, we'll go back to the home and we'll go to back to the section where we have fiat. So in this section, you can actually deposit USDT, USDC, Bitcoin or Ethereum using your bank card. These are the payment processors, Simplest, Guardian and their rates. You can see that Simplest gives you the best rate here and you can do that with Visa, MasterCard, um, Apple Pay and PF. X. So this is simply that session, but what I want to do is to actually deposit using crypto. So I'll go back to the aspect section and click on deposit here. So I have deposit, withdraw and transfer. Transfer is to actually move fund from spot to margin or to futures, just amongst or between the accounts. Withdraw is to take out your fund and deposit is to deposit crypto. Now I want to deposit USDT, so I tap on this. CET, which is the native cryptocurrency of CoinX, and I choose USDT and I choose the network. I want to do that on a TRC20, and this is the wallet address. I'm going to copy it, then go to my wallet and make a deposit to this account. So I want to deposit um, $500. So I'll give it a little time and this money is gonna appear in my wallet. Now, the money has arrived. So I have 500 USDT and this came straight to my sport account. I can choose to move it to margin, futures, financial and AMM. Now, 
Back to the bottom menu, I have financial, exchange, and futures. Let's start with the financials because when I have money in our wallet, all we can do in financial is earn passive income. Let's say you have an IDO USDT or an IDO crypto in your wallet that you are not using. It's good you move it to the financial section so you can earn APY on the account. If you look at this, you can earn APY on USDT, BNB, FTM, and the rest. Now I have USDT. To simply end from this, what I do is that I go to my asset and I transfer from sports where I have the USDT to financials. Let's say I want to transfer $100. So and I have this money moved to financials. So if you go out to my wallet to overview, you have $400 in sports and $100 in financials. If I click on the financial in the menu and I have $100 there and I'm going to start immediately earning this 2.62 APY because my money is in the financial wallet. Let's go to exchange now. So I can do trade and swap. Swap is quickly converting one cryptocurrency to another immediately instantly. Okay, let's say I want to convert, I want to convert USDT to Bitcoin instantly. I just select the coins I want to swap and let's say I want to do that. I want to convert 50 USDT to Bitcoin. This is the number of Bitcoin going to give me and I click on swap and it does that instantly. If I go to my asset now, you can see under the sports section, I have USDT $350 and BTC $49.9 dollars worth okay so that is one way to do sports the second way is actually to trade in the exchange so if i click on trade now i can now have a full trading experience the first one you have here is the coins if i tap on this cast usdt i'll see the different coins i can trade besides selected you can see you can see usdt usdt and btc these are the three types of cryptocurrency pair you can trade on CoinX. When it's in the USDT section, it's showing you only the USDT pairs. So every coin is paired against USDT Pick here. If I click on the first one, CET USDT, it simply means that when I buy, I buy CET with USDT and when I sell, I sell CET for USDT. So the same goes for USDT and BTC. So these are the different pairs you have here. There are other categories you have besides all. You have AMM, you have margin, you have meme coins, proof of work coins, LSD coins, RWA, optimizing, and so on. So let's say we want to trade um, CET. CET USDT. CET is the native coin of the CoinX platform. CoinX was founded in December 2017. So I can buy and I can sell this. Beside the cryptocurrency pair, if I click this, I will see the charts and I can do some observation from this chart. Now, I actually prefer trading looking at charts from the computer. So you can see buy, sell, once you've done your analysis, you cannot see the order type. So when limit, limit means that you want to buy at the price you have chosen or sell at the, at the price you have chosen. But the markets have to get to that price before your order is filled. Market means you want to sell at the price the market is offering at that time. So using the market order is more like you're using the swap feature we looked at. Then you can use here to select the amount of cryptocurrency you want to buy. You can enter the coin itself in USDT and to give you the equivalent value. Let's want to buy $50 worth. It's giving the value in CET or I can enter the value in CET and to give me the equivalent amount in USDT. Once I'm done, I click on buy. Beside this left column is the order book. So those that are in red are the sellers and the prices they want to sell at. The ones in green are the buyers and the prices they want to buy at. And the one in the middle is the current market price. 
let's go ahead and make a purchase. So I want to do what? I want to buy CET using the limit order. So let's say I did, I want to buy at this particular point. I want to buy at 0 0.033251. So I come here and enter my order 0 0.033251. And I want to buy say $50 worth of this. I click on buy CET. And I want my fee to be deducted at CET, right? I prefer to do that because it will reduce the fee that I pay to give me a better fee. What happens is that because I'm using limit order and because the price is not yet at the price I want to buy at, my order will enter the order book as a buyer. And whenever price drops to that price, my order will be filled. Now we have the CET in my spot wallet. So this is simply how you use this particular exchange section to trade sports on CoinX. The next one is futures. Futures trading, you can go long or you can go short. When you go long, it means that you believe the market is going to go up and when it goes up, you make profit. When it goes down, you make a loss. If you go short, it means that you believe the market is going to go down. If it goes down, you make a profit. But if it goes up, you make a loss. In futures trading, you are not really buying the assets the way you buy in sports market. You are betting on the movement of the price. Here, you can make more profit because you can use leverage or you can lose your capital because it's more risky. And you can trade if the market is going up, you can trade if the market is coming down. So if I click on futures, right? CoinS has two types of futures. You have the linear contract and the inverse contract. The linear contract means that your order is settled in USDT. So if you make a profit, it's settled in USDT. If you make a loss, it's settled in USDT. Inverse means it is settled either in Ethereum or it's settled in BTC. That is just the difference. In inverse contract, you can only trade the BTC USDT pair or the Ethereum USDT pair. But in the linear contract, you can trade a lot of cryptocurrency paired against USDT. Let's say we want to trade Ethereum USDT. I'm going to select that. The next thing is, beside it again, you can look at the chart to see where you want to enter the market or where you want to exit the market. Under this is leverage. So we have two types of leverage. We have the isolated leverage and we have the cross leverage. Isolated means that the money you enter that trade with is the only money you're risking in that particular trade. So if the trade is in your favor, you make a profit. If the trade goes against you, you can lose the whole of that money you put into that trade. And that is the only money you're going to lose. For cross, it means that you are risking not only the money you put into the trade, but the money that is in your futures trading account. Now, if the trade starts going against you, it will take money from your futures wallet and keep on adding to that trade. The good thing is that the trade can turn and start going in the great direction and you end up making profit. If you are using isolated, the trade must have closed and you make a loss. But the thing is that if the trade keeps going against you, the whole of the money in your futures account might actually be liquidated and you lose everything. So only use the cross if you are a professional trader. If you're just new and beginning, please stick with the isolated. Then you have different leverages from 1x, 2x to 50x. When you're using 1x, you're actually not using any leverage. But if you're using, say, from 2x leverage, what it means, for example, is that if I'm trading with $100 using 2x leverage, it means that I'm borrowing additional $100 from the exchange. So when I make a profit, my profit is multiplied by two. But the thing is that if I make a loss, the loss is also multiplied by two. So you should know how you use leverage. Now in my course, Afibi, which you can see in the description, I actually teach you how to use leverage. And I have a way for you to calculate the particular leverage you can use for a trade. But as a beginner, don't use very high leverage. Let me do this test by using what? 3x leverage. Okay, and we are trading Ethereum. Now let's look at the Ethereum chart. I don't want to take the term trade now because Ethereum is actually going up 
and it will be it's not wise to go long on this trade so let me go to um law now no financial advice i am just simply showing how to enter a trade um in an ideal case i will not also take a long on this trade let's look at btc let's say btc is a shut up and maybe i believe it's gonna like retrace some more and i want to take a short position on btc so what i'll do is to go and select the btc pair btc against usdt and click on sell because i want to sell shorts and i still want to maintain my 3x leverage and i want to enter the market immediately so i can actually use the market order to enter the market immediately and say i want to my trade amount is 20 50 us 80. now this is not exactly how i trade i trade by calculating my leverage first and i use the afibi position calculator please check the description to know how i do this so i have to make sure first that i have money in my futures wallet so i go back to assets i want to transfer now money from my spot account to my futures account let me transfer 200 dollars and once that is transferred i can go back to futures and click enter this trade with 50 dollars i can click on sell shorts confirm guys i am in this trade and from here i can set my take profit and stop loss where do i want to take profit i enter it here where do i want to put my stop loss in case the trade is going against me i'll put it here and confirm and i will have fully entered this trade now paraventure i don't want i want to close this trade at any time i can click on close position enter the price i want to close that position or use the market um, order to close the position or i can click on liquidate and click on confirm to exit this position using the market order so guys this is how you trade the futures market i want to show you two more things that is how to and trading fees by providing liquidity to do that we'll come back to the home and we'll click on more then we'll go down straight to amm under finance we we'll click on it we can provide liquidity for example b and usdt we can provide liquidity here and end 1511 percent apy for gmm it is 864 percent apy now this is a lot but the thing is that we're providing liquidity in this market note that you are also at risk of impermanent loss now for the bonus i talked about if you look at the airdrop section you can see airdrop here if i go down again to where we have promotions you can see airdrop when you click on it you can learn about different cryptocurrency projects and earn reward by doing so there's no one that is on right now because this one was ended x and a was recently ended so when it was live you just click on it you go through the tutorials which is usually a few minutes you answer some few questions and you'll be rewarded with that particular coin which you can sell immediately and you know use the money for what you want to use it for so guys this is how you trade on coin x to sign up use the link in the description when you do so you get some bonus and if you want to learn how to trade profitably you should consider joining my telegram group all the links are in the description i will see you in the next video